heading into Volcano National Park, going on an e-bike tour. Should be fun. <laughs> Good, here's where we enter the park at this gate with the dog sign on it for this tour. Just have to make sure we shut the gate. Go through the gate. And close the gate. We're going to go to the right. This takes us towards the desert side of the crater. Make a right onto the road for some easy pedaling. Bikes that we rented, kind of an interesting e-bike. Pedal assist with a throttle. They're giant Sedonas. Monique's got a live Sedona, so the female version. And they've got an external battery that just clamps on and ties into the motor that's in the front wheel. It's like front wheel drive. One of the nice things, Spike Rental, is they give you an app for your phone that gives you a guided tour as well as directions. So as you're pedaling, it tells you when to turn and what to look for. And then there's actually information blocks on it so that you can just touch it and get more details about the spot you're in. Pretty cool. This used to be a road. You can see the yellow line on it. Nature has taken over this road. Wow. Oh, we're about to get a view. Oh, that is cool. Hopefully We'll have a scenic overlook right here. That is an active volcano. I'm not sure if you can see that fire down there. Video of the crater. Look and see. Down there, there's people walking on the lava. Quite a few people in the park trying to be courteous when you go by them. Let them know we're coming. Go by slow. Follow the directions that the tour owner gave us. Pretty amazing. Got all this vegetation and then hot lava. Okay, we're coming up on to a steam vent viewing area. detailed directions from the app on what to do to view these steam vents. I'm not sure if you can see this or hear it because of the wind, but you can see the steam rolling off the rock right here. As we walk up, it's a shot 
of it. Look at that. Kind of a crack in the ground there. Steam coming out. Here's the Kalawea military camp. We're going to continue on down the road a little bit. Make this left. Go to another viewing area. A little trail riding. Oh, up we go. Vegetation here is very different than on Oahu. Doesn't seem all that tropical up here. Of course, we're over 3,000 feet, probably higher than that. I know when we were driving up, I saw elevation signs as it was a steady climb. I'm sure we've entered a different zone. Getting a different view. Looking out. That's some nice countryside. Beautiful. Move down into the crater. Pretty nice view up here. A little different view coming back this way. See the cliff face going down into the crater. what this can do 35 miles per hour we're screaming into the wind we're turning from I think it's kind of like a high desert side of the volcano now we're heading to the other side which should be a little more lush the vegetation here is got a lot more ferns and not quite rainforest, but starting to look a little more like that. We're going to be making a right-hand turn pretty shortly. All right, we're going to take a walk to the Thurston Lava Tube. See what that looks like. Wow. I think we're descending into a crater. Pretty cool. Definitely into a rainforest again. Very nice. Right, walking into a lava tube. Not sure how this will come out. Here's the other end of the lava tube. We'll go back through and show you the entrance we came in. This is a different crater than the one we were looking at. There's actually a hiking trail down at the bottom that you can walk across the old lava. We got a different view of the crater here. Look out, you can see that building up on the ridge. That was where we kind of ended our tour on that side, which was kind of deserty. And we've ridden all the way around this rim, around the rim of another crater. There's the restaurant, and we've come back down. I think we're getting closer to a different lava viewing area. Maybe we'll get a little closer view of it than what we had from the other side. Pretty cool. You can see the steam vents. See some actual fire down there. Some molten rock. Very, very cool.
Here's another crater. This one's quite a bit smaller than the last couple we've seen. But still really cool. This is also where my batteries died for my GoPro and we started to work our way back out of the park. Here's the Strava view of what we rode around the park. You can see we covered quite a bit of ground. And this is the bike rental place, Bike Volcano. Give Gwendolyn a call and use the link that I've left below uh, to schedule your future trip.